Okay, so we've been uh, torture testing the new System 2 solenoid driver. So I'll just uh, give you an update. I'm hoping to have it ready end of June, early July. The board you're about to see, it's green, it's a prototype and it's got wires all over because we're, uh, we're just giving it a hard time. So the board is here. Uh, it's linked up to various instruments. I've got the capacitor charge state there at 16.9 volts. Uh, it's connected to uh, four solenoids here. And what I've done is uh, set them all on their own V port so I could trigger one, two, three, and four. And you can see on the screen, they're all to each individual V port. And on the panel controller, I've set them all to toggle switches for now, just so that when I hold it down, it's on. When I release it, it's off. And what I'm going to do now, because I've been torture testing this, is I'm going to put all the solenoids on the same V port. So they should all fire. Now, the problem with solenoids is you need the capacitor to be charged in order for the solenoid to fire. So if I try and move all four in one go, the first one will fire, probably. The rest, there's nothing left. The tank will be empty. So we've added a few smarts here. So watch what happens when I press the button for V port one, because they're all now on V port one. What happens is, you see the red light on the uh, solenoid board? It's flickering on and off. That shows when the capacitor is charged. If the red light's on, the capacitor is charged. You shouldn't move the board. You shouldn't plug anything in uh, because there's dangerous current there. As you disconnect it, it will discharge over about 12 seconds and that light will then go. So you're free to plug things in and out. But what we've done is we've added a FIFO, a Q, so that when all these uh, are instructed to fire, they will only fire if the capacitor is up to a normal charge. So press again and release on off and it's storing the commands and executing them when the voltage is uh, at an appropriate voltage here it's currently reading 16.9 volts coils i think generally are designed to work at about 16 um, any less if it goes below 16 volts it will not fire it will wait for it to charge up and if it goes above 18 it will give you warnings in fact on the screen, I've added uh, a color uh, voltage indicator here. So that's updating once a second. If I fire it and you keep an eye on the screen, at the moment, the screen is showing 16.8 volts, 16.9, and it's a green, um, green font. As I fire it, the capacitor discharges, and it goes down. You can see it's the way it samples once a second, it goes below 16 volts. But I've, I've added a, um, an adjuster here, so you can actually adjust the voltage. So I hope you can see the solenoid driver there. So watch the voltage on the screen as I adjust this. So I'm going to take it, first of all, I'm gonna go over voltage. This will actually go up to about 25 volts, but I'm just gonna take it up to, uh, there we go. See how it's set now at 21 volts. So um, it's red, in fact, because I've told it it can uh, it can go to a high voltage, you should see these all fire faster. In fact, two went at once. Goes faster, but we don't want it there because ultimately it'll uh, it'll burn your coils out or your solenoids. So let's reduce this voltage. I'm going to go back to about upper end of 16. I think is good, like 16.8 something like that. Oh, screwdriver fell off. These are all factory set, so you never need to do this. In fact, I'll probably hot glue this so you don't twiddle it. But uh, I've made it as flexible as I can. That's great, 16.8. So the screen is showing 16.83. And operation. And if we look at the voltmeter, we can see in real time we're recording and it's match 16.7576, 16 so it's in 0 0.01, a tenth of a volt. And we can see here 16.76, it's, it's bob on, so it's within, um, it's within a, a, a hundredth of a volt. Drops down and back up. So hopefully this product, hang on, let's spin this round. 
So hopefully this product will be available um, in limited quantities end of June, early July. I don't like giving release dates yet, but uh, the final version of the circuit board has been ordered. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm just making some more tweaks to the software um, so that the feedback is in real time when the point is thrown, not when we've got the command. Tweaks like that. Just I want it to be as uh, as excellent as I can make it really at this point. But there is a lot of pent up demand for solenoid drivers. And I know with the legacy range, the transistors went out of uh, end of life and we couldn't get them. And so we've redesigned this here. It has a built in CDU. It's got smarts. You'll be able to use it on the CAN bus. You'll be able to use it on Wi-Fi Wi -Fi via MQTT. You'll be able to hook it up to JMRI and so on. But the most important thing here is if you wish you a command for a solenoid to fire, I want you to uh, have confidence that that solenoid will fire and that the CDU was fully charged and able to make that uh, issue that fire rather than uh, fire a blank on an empty capacitor, which was, was important to me. So hopefully super reliable and uh, I'll give you another update uh, towards the end of the month. Thanks for watching.